Greetings friends, good to see you back in this video. In the last tutorial, we learned about the first technique of handling exceptions in threads, whereby we had set a common default handler for handling exceptions in all the threads in the application. In the current video, we will learn how to set different exception handlers for different threads. For this, we still need to implement the uncaught exception handler interface. After that, you can use the set uncaught exception handler method of thread class to set an instance of the handler for that specific thread. Notice that this method is not static but an instance method. Let us see some code now. As implementation of uncaught exception handler, we are going to use the same handler, thread exception handler, that we developed in the previous tutorial. For the task 2, we are going to use the same one that we created in the previous tutorial, exception leaking task. Now, in our main class named handling uncaught exceptions differently per thread, we are going to create a few threads and use a different instance of thread exception handler for each thread. Let us do it. Note that we are creating a new instance of thread exception handler for each thread. Let us run this class now. We see that different handlers have caught exceptions in different threads here. Each handler has a different hash code denoting a different instance of the handler. Now, the code of the handler is the same for all the instances, that is basic Java. This means that all the instances of a handler handle the exception in exactly the same manner. And you must be thinking, what is the use of having multiple instances of exactly the same handler for different threads? Why not just use the default handler here that we discussed in the previous tutorial? Well, you are right. In real scenarios, you have multiple implementations of uncaught exception handler interface and each implementation handles the exceptions differently or handles different exceptions altogether. It is just for the sake of demonstrating the concept here that I have used multiple instances of the same implementation for different threads. In fact, you should take this as an exercise and create multiple implementations yourself. Then use different implementations for different threads. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. See you in the next one now. Bye.